Hi guys, in this series of videos we'll be looking at electromagnetic waves, the electromagnetic spectrum, photons, rest mass and energy, antimatter, annihilation, pair production, and an exam style question. So let's start by talking about electromagnetic waves. So light is actually an electromagnetic wave. Uh, light is actually the part in the spectrum of electromagnetic waves, and we're going to talk about the spectrum later, that we can see in visible light. So, for example, uh, this is a light bulb and it's emitting uh, a light. This is visible light. Uh, and, and we can see that this is actually a wave. Um, this is obviously not to scale in terms of the uh, wavelength, which is a property of waves we're going to talk about later. But the idea is that light is actually just an electromagnetic wave, and we're going to see a lot more of them as we go on. Uh, so in a vacuum, all electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light, which is given by C is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, 3.00. Obviously, that's a random number. That's the three significant figures. So C is the, uh, the the letter we use to represent the speed of light, and that's very common. Um, we will use it to uh, talk about the general speed of waves in later videos, but for now when we use C, we just mean the speed of light. And it's just some shorthand to avoid us having to, to use this number all the time. So this is the universal speed limit, the speed of light. No object uh, is allowed to travel faster than this, and then any object with mass has to travel slower than it. That's to say that there is, it's certainly not possible to travel faster than the speed of light. And if you've got any mass whatsoever, um, so for instance, you and I, we could never travel as fast as the speed of light either. We are always limited to travel slower than it. Uh, that's not a limitation of, of technology, but that's a, a fundamental physical rule of the universe that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. So now let's just talk a bit about waves in general. So there's two important properties of waves that we're going to need to use uh, in this section, and that's their frequency and their wavelength. So wavelength, what is that? Well, this is the distance over which the wave shape repeats. Uh, so, so this is the kind of standard layout for a wave, um, as in this is the kind of standard shape we choose to, to draw it. And so the wavelength is the distance over, with this, over which this shape repeats. How do we find this distance? Well, we can find it just by measuring the distance from trough to trough or crest to crest. That means from kind of the bottom or from the bottom to the bottom or from the top to the top. Uh, there, really, any place you pick such that the wave shape repeats is good, but the reason you pick trough to trough is it avoids you accidentally making mistakes. I'll illustrate that in just a second. But it's basically just the distance between complete waves. So just to label what I mean by crests and troughs, in red, I've labelled these crests, uh, and in green, I've labelled these troughs. So that's what we mean by that. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level physics videos, just click the snap revised smiley face. Join me today, and together let's make A-level physics a walk in the park.